TF2 Tightrope, a server that rebalances weapons because if we waited for Valve to do it, we'd all be dead. These are the people that take items that are subpar at best and make them into, well, something different, better or worse. They managed to stay pretty far away from the same boring, less ammo, more damage, winger-like changes, but not for nothing, some of these rebalances range from ingenious to downright goofy. Let's take a look at a few, shall we? Basically, an inverse of the escape plan. The more health you have, the faster you move. The less health, the slower. Now, on paper, that sounds like a great idea, until you actually get to low health and realize it's a terrible one. You might be able to keep up with your medic friends at full health, but the moment you take even a few mosquito bites, you're reduced to a heavy sandwich-fueled waddle. Now, you could make the argument that it's not so bad with the medic in tow, but until you spot this little number right here and decide to off yourself. I like running fast, but I'll take the speed at low health when I need it, thank you very much. I'm gonna pass on this one, but thanks for playing. See, I'm not fully convinced the Man Melter warrants a rebalance to begin with. I mean, maybe a fire rate boost, but there's worse weapons out there. What they've done to this one is made it a Sydney Sleeper kind of pistol. The players you hit are lit on fire and take mini crits. Simple enough. Definitely not worth getting rid of the extinguishing mechanic for the phlogistonator morons who don't want to be a complete ass, but interesting all the same. Funniest part is, I've never seen so many stats I don't give a damn about on a weapon, so this one's gonna be a soft maybe. Speaking of pyros, here's a flamethrower for all the reflect jockeys out there. As if anyone using the degreaser didn't already use their right click more than their left, this caters harder than a sandwich shop filled with male strippers. It works wonders with pushing people around, and with an enemy team full of knuckle draggers, it might just be the only form of tennis anyone enjoys. The catch is, though, this thing is the homer of flamethrowers. It chews up ammo and lights people on fire worse than the Hulong heater, but it's definitely worth being able to push people around like Gordon Ramsay in a bulldozer. This new degreaser gets a thumbs up. Burning down the rest of Atlanta with pyro weapons comes the sharpened Volcano Fragment, something that is long overdue for a buff. It does less damage and gives you the same squishy health bar as the Scout, but in turn makes the Pyro the counter for Pyro. Almost half of the flame damage you take is turned into health, meaning that the fire bounces off of you like flavor off of a veggie burger. Now this would be great if it wasn't for this little skid mark here. This just makes you vulnerable to everything except another pyro, so the sharpened volcano fragment gets a bit of a thumbs down from me. It's about goddamn time someone gave the medic something cool. At the cost of 20% uber, this saw lets you teleport short distances. Now, I love this idea, but the execution is subpar, especially with how well it pairs with a quick fix and vaccinator. Now, you might think this sounds familiar, but I wish it was that predictable. There is no way in the hell of knowing how and specifically where you're going to end up. You could be facing forwards and moving left, and you'll be teleported left. It's a great idea though, but maybe just takes a bit of time to get good at, like the crossbow. You could use it to teleport across sniper sight lines, get out of a firefight alive, or hell, maybe even keep you from being air blasted off the edge. I'd gladly give up 20% if it meant I'd live to see another day. If there's anything the medic could use, it's a boost in movement. The best part is the smell, though. Just breathe it in, everybody. You know what that smell is? That smells like banned in everything. This one gets a thumbs up. Unfortunately, we'll never be able to use it ever. This wrench is, to put simply, beastly. In essence, it turns a regular sentry into a mini sentry, but with a hell of a lot more damage, fires even faster, and has this random boost of speed whenever someone leaves a teleporter. It also cuts your melee damage in half, meaning you'll have to rely a bit more on your shotgun to do any real damage. I can imagine this to make an NG a bit more viable in your faster paced games and make them play a lot more aggressively, and I think it does well in that regard. It even gives your buildings a cute little sparkle effect. <laughs> this one gets a good old thumbs up. Somewhere down the line, the TF2 tightrope mods became determined to make the NG one hell of a class because the new Eureka effect is one hell of a wrench. You get health regeneration, movement speed increase, teleportation, immunity to your own rockets, and cheaper teleporters. The downside is you can only get health from your dispenser or resupply cabinets. Metaguns do nothing, which sounds like a downside, but in reality is just an ubercharged meter's best friend. 
Now, this weapon sounds balanced because of the Mormon-like rules of health gaining, but it really makes this a turtle's best friend. It's obviously a very defensive weapon, making it pretty much the direct opposite of the overclocker. Once you have everything built up and upgraded though, which wouldn't take long thanks to the teleportation, mind you, this wrench is more overpowered than a rice rocket on the Tour de France. Just for the fact that no one is going to want to use the stock after this one, I'm gonna have to say no. There are four more weapon changes, three of which make no real difference in gameplay and have little effect on the actual weapons themselves. Here they are. Now, the last weapon is probably the most interesting of them all, and quite possibly the most entertaining one yet. Introducing... The demo has the sticky jumper, the soldier has the rocket jumper, why the hell not a heavy jumper? The heavy lifter does exactly zero, count it, zero damage, but the right clicking sends you flying into the ceiling. It has the man tread stat where you deal damage to the people you land on top of, but that's easier said in Mandarin Chinese than it is done. You get marked for death and somehow it still lights people on fire, but I think it's safe to say this is the worst weapon so far. But don't take my word for it, just ask everyone's favorite heavy main, Rider Cycle. Yeah, that's, that's really not a good idea. See, I'm not wrong. It's fun for maybe three seconds before you realize literally the only thing you can do from up above the world so high is come crashing down on people. And God forbid if you try and switch weapons or something, because there's no way in hell you'd have enough time to put away the minigun before you hit the floor. From there, you're just another fat old bullet sponge. This one gets a fat flying heavy's fuck you thumbs down. TF2 Tightrope has some interesting ideas, obviously some greater than others, but at least they're trying, and I'm more than happy to help test out these new weapons if it means Valve will one day get around to adding new weapons like, I, I'm tired and I'm sick of running the same stock Groovich heavy shit, I'm tired of the crossbow, I wanna hit something. I want to hit someone with something that's not the Uber saw. I want to be able to teleport short distances. I can't stand this shit. I'm the invincible, undefeated champ. I on Mount Zion's. My ancestors can't rely on. Starved David, nah, the thought of saw dumb. Modern dumb and done crumbs left of the dumb thumb to this play button, glutton of words. Mud button, birds of fly to fly to you, dropping turds. Hopping up on ignorance to feel high, your mighty pop up the real. Dance the visual, cry to deity. Pious piety, mighty be the sea is truly to be me. I see everything there is, so 